Hi, welcome to my quick video on how to use Linux containers on Chrome OS. What are containers, you might ask? Think of containers as lightweight virtual machines. Normally, you create multiple virtual machines on a device to isolate the information in each virtual machine from the other. For example, you could have a virtual machine for banking and one for surfing the web. So if you accidentally visit a bad website, it won't have access to your banking information. Unfortunately, as secure as virtual machines are, it's basically partitioning your system resources into separate machines so it is resource intensive. Creating containers uses less resources than creating virtual machines, but they also don't isolate as well as virtual machines. So you get more speed and lighter resource usage for less security. It's basically a trade-off. If you have lots of RAM and processing power, you're better off using virtual machines. But if you have a low-end Chromebook like myself, containers are a good compromise. Let's take a look at this diagram and see how containers actually run on Chrome OS. The outside box represents Chrome OS. Anything running out here runs at full hardware speed and practically has access to all system resources. Running under Chrome OS, Google actually has one instance of a virtual machine running that they call Termina. In theory, if you have a lot of resources, you could stop here and just create a bunch of virtual machines. But since we want to save resources, the virtual machine can be used to run multiple containers instead. In the diagram, you have different distributions of Linux running there. But you don't have to do that. You can just run multiple containers of the default Debian distribution. The default container created by Chrome OS is called Penguin. So let's start by using the VMC command to manipulate the virtual machine. Press Ctrl-Alt-T to open up a cross terminal. If we type VMC list, it will show us all the virtual machines on this current device. As you can see, we only have the default Termina. If we type VMC start, Termina will actually start the default virtual machine. Type LC list, and it will show all the containers on this virtual machine. Exit, and then we can use VMC container Termina test to create a container called test within Termina. When it completes, it'll actually drop you inside of the container. Type exit. And then we can go back into Termina to list the existing containers. As, as you can see, we've created the test container. You can stop the virtual machine at any time by typing VMC stop Termina. You can access running containers or virtual machines using the VHS command. Type VHS Termina to access that virtual machine. As you can see, we can list the existing containers. Type VHS, virtual machine name, and container name to access that specific container. Within Termina, you can list containers by typing LXC list. If you want to stop a container, type LXC stop, then the container name, in this case test. Start a container, type LC start, and then the container name, in this case test again. To run the container, type LC exec, the container name, dash dash, slash bin, dash bash, and enter. It will make you a root shell. To run as a different user, type LC exec, the container name, which is test, dash dash, su dash dash login, and then the username. As you can see, we're in a shell with a dev test username. To query the information about a container, type LXC info, and then the container name, which is test in this case. You can also take snapshots. Type LXC snapshot, the container name, and then give a snapshot a name. In this case, we'll say it's uh, first backup. This will save the state of your container so you can always restore it at a later time. LXC info shows that we have one snapshot. So let's log in as dev test in the test container and let's create a directory. 
clean the directory exists. Let's go back out. Let's uh, stop the container. Now let's restore the container. Typing LXC, restore container name, and then what backup we want to restore from. In this case, there's backup. Now we go back into the container. Notice that the junk directory is gone. Let's go back into our test container and then uh, install Inkscape. All applications installed in custom containers also show up in the launcher, so we can launch Inkscape right now. There we go, Inkscape is running. The last thing I'm going to do is show you how to destroy a container. Go back into Termina and then stop the container with LXC, stop container name as normal, and type LXC, just delete, and then container name, in this case test. And then when we list it, it is now gone. Thank you so much, and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video.